think we know what's happening. Um, let me just share a quick story about Nicole. Um, she suffers from narcolepsy, which if you don't know is when you just involuntarily fall asleep and it's much bigger than that. Um, but uh, she talked with Kay a good bit this morning and talked about her career on the LPGA Tour and how very, very difficult it was and the problems that she's had with that and the problems that she's always had with all of the medications for that. Uh, but the good news today is uh, it's a new day and new medications have made her feel the best she's ever felt in her life. And uh, maybe that's why we've seen her have a really good week. That's a great point, Judy, because I think we all knew that she had some struggles on tour, but the extent to which she had to deal with her condition while trying to compete at the highest level, I don't think any of us really understood. Not at the time, for sure. No. This is going to take a lot of touch to come back down towards this whole location. Very good. Really nicely judged. She always competed with a smile, in spite of the fact that she may have been dealing with challenges that other players did not have to do. Nicole Dre's life changed back in 1996 when she was diagnosed with narcolepsy after experiencing extreme sleepiness and uh, some real issues with that on the golf course. Um, she has it under control now and has worked hard on uh, raising awareness for that condition but it's something that she has dealt with for a long time and it cannot have been easy Kay, to deal with a condition like that and play uh, this sort of high level golf and golf is stressful enough much less compounding it with an ailment and this to finish off with another birdie but you've got to hand it to Nicole Jure hanging in there Struggled early. A couple of birdies late in the round. And she is just enjoying every moment of this.